I know I've been doing this for so long. It's practice and practice and practice. But the first thing I notice is I've got one variable to the first power in the denominator and just a constant in the top. That tells me that I'm going to want to probably do a natural law. So the first thing I do when my constant in the top is a number is I rewrite this and stick my phi out in front of the integral. And rewrite this as the integral of 1 over 4 minus 3x dx. And then the next thing I want to notice is that you can only do a natural log if the bottom is one variable. So since I've got a binomial there, that tells me I want to do a u substitution, which is what's mainly on the AP test. This is on u substitution is huge. So you let u equal the entire denominator. And then you do the derivative of that u, du dx is negative 3 dx. So you move the dx is here over to the other side. And now if you look right here, we got the dx part, but we got to be able to put du in there. So what's missing? Anybody? What's missing to be able to put du in this problem when I stick u in the bottom? In other words, right now I got 5 integral of 1 over u. I need to put du in here, but I can only put du in there if I get negative 3 dx. What's missing? Negative 3. Negative 3. You are allowed to create integers. You can create and destroy integers. So when I come up here, I'm going to create, I'm going to take as 1, and it's 1 times negative 3, so it's just negative 3. And then I come out in front, and I can destroy that negative 3 by putting it in the denominator, because those two things reduce to 1. So now in front, I've got negative 5 over 3, but this negative 3 dx, that's du, so I can stick du on out here, and now I can do the integral of this. Because 1 over the integral of 1 over u is natural log of the absolute value of u, and then plus some c. Now when you have an indefinite integral, you're not allowed to leave it in u. So you have to take whatever you let u be up here, and you want to stick the x part back in, and you will be done. So it'll be negative 5 thirds natural log of the absolute value of 4 minus 3x plus c. Does anybody know why they put the absolute value on there? You can't do it. That's right. You have to do. You can only do a log, natural log or a log of a positive value. That's why it's on there. Okay, so that's the end of that one. Anybody else got anything you want? I'll put on and stop the video for a second. This one was really hard because it looks like you got to have a quotient rule. Well, there's bad news. There's no such thing as a quotient rule in the AP or in the integral. You can't. There is no quotient rule. So we got to make that look like something that we know how to do the integral of. So guess what we're going to have to do? Anybody got any guesses? What's this whole thing about? U substitution. So we're going to let U be something. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it be the denominator again. Because I don't want my DU in the bottom. I want the DU in the top in order to do an integral. So I want to let U be the bottom part. So I'm going to do E to the X minus e to the negative x. So I'm going to do the derivative of this. So you do each one individually. What's the derivative of e to the x? E to the x. It is e to the x. And then we got a minus. What's the derivative of e to the negative x? E to the negative, e to the negative x times uh, negative 1. Because when you do a derivative of e to the x, you do the, e, the same thing times the derivative of the exponent. See, we have actually over here taking this times 1 because the derivative of x is 1. But you don't have to write 1 because it doesn't do anything. But negative 1 changes. So when I write this, it's going to be e to the x plus e to the negative x. Because that negative and that negative make a positive. And then there's a dx. So this is very similar to the last one. So it's 1 du over u. And then you do the same steps as the last problem. I'm going to be around and spray your desk. And then I'll